Hey guys, welcome to another one time review. Today I'm going to try one of these market side sandwiches. This is a Walmart brand. It is white meat chicken and bacon ranch sub. Uh, it's heat and eat is what it says. It looks pretty decent. Eight ounces or 227 grams. Um, of course it came from Walmart. It was $3.87, which I don't think that's too bad. It's a pretty decent size sub. Uh, if you eat the whole thing, it's 580 calories. Here's your other info. So you can do the conventional oven from a refrigerator if you want to. This is a refrigerated sandwich, it's not a frozen one. So you can do the oven. Of course, we don't do ovens, we do microwaves. So the microwave, we're gonna remove the sub from the sleeve, uh, leave oven safe bag on the sub, do not vent it. So do not open it on the side. Place on microwave safe plate and cooking bag uh, on high setting for 1.5, that's a, a minute and a half, to two minutes. Um, I'll probably do like, um, I don't know, like 140, something like that, or until cheese is visibly melted. Uh, remove from microwave, open back carefully. So yeah, I'll probably do a minute and 40. So I'm gonna take it out of this cardboard thing, but I'll leave the, uh, the plastic bag on it and I'll be back once it comes out. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I haven't done anything except open the plastic bag. So uh, you see it's uh, got quite a bit of chicken meat on there. Um, some bacon, not tons, but some. The bread feels good and uh, soft. I'm gonna move it a little bit so it doesn't get soggy on the bottom because they tend to get a lot of moisture built up on the bottom. So I'll move it around a little bit before I finally eat it. I'm gonna cut mine in half, just make it easier to eat, but um, you know, just, and so I'll know kind of how, how many calories to eat because I probably won't eat the whole thing. So anyway, I'll uh, be back when it cools off. Okay, I think I gave it enough time to cool off. I'm gonna take a bite from just right here in the middle. A little hot. I like the flavor of the the cheese and the and the ranch sauce. I like the flavor of that. I get um, the texture of the chicken. I get a little bit of a bacon flavor. It's not a strong flavor, but I get a little bit of that smoky bacon flavor. It's mostly ranch. The bread firmed up a little bit once as it's cooled off, especially the end over here. It's really I mean that's pretty hard. Um, the edge is kind of hard. Um, this is not too bad, but down here towards the ends, it, it's really a hard piece of bread. See some pieces of bacon in there. Um, Flavor-wise, it's not bad. If, um, if you really want to make these perfect, you would have to get, you would have to try a few of these and get the timing for your microwave just right. Um, I ended up doing like 143 or something like that. Um, since the bread did get a little hard, it's plenty hot enough. Since the bread is a little hot, I'd probably try it at a one and a half, like one, one minute and 30 seconds. Um, see if it got hot enough and see if the bread was any softer because usually the bread gets hard because it's, it's over microwaved a little bit. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, I do like the flavors though. I'm not gonna blame the hard bread because I think the bread is uh, literally out of the microwave. That's why it got hard. The, um, I think it would have been just better in the oven because it wouldn't have crisped up quite so hard. Although you get hard bread out of the oven too, so I don't know. You just gotta reduce the time in your microwave until you figure out that right sweet spot for you. But I do like the flavors. I think the quality is good. You get tons of chicken in there. I mean, there's uh, there's chicken in every bite, even almost to the very end, not quite. Well, pretty close. Let me open it up. You can see there's chicken almost to the very, very end of that piece of bread. Um, and it's the same way on the other side too. So you get quite a bit of chicken. The, the bacon in there, there's enough where you get a little bit of that flavor and it does have a good ranchy kind of flavor. It's not like ranch dressing flavor, so it's not that strong, but it, it does have a little bit of that seasoning flavor uh, that you would get in ranch. So I do like it. Um, it's not the best sandwich ever, but it is definitely a good sandwich. Um, that being said, I'm going to give it a four out of five. I think that's, that's a good rating for this one because it is, it's a little bit better than above average because I do really like the sauce. Um, I mean, but it's not quite to a five because I w it needed more bacon. I needed that really strong bacony flavor for me to really, um, really bump it up to a five. So yeah, beyond that, pretty good sandwich. Definitely worth trying out. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.